This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Waldo right back here with another episode of Shining Force 2. In the last episode, we uh, beat the prison followers of Gessup. Despite their nastiness, uh, we had enough HP and levels to survive. But after beating them, Gessup said something about sending the Red Baron after us. Well, if we're going to be fighting the Red Baron, we need to get Snoopy on our team. Or we're going to get attacked like immediately there afterwards. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Now you shall pay for killing my precious poison flowers. Guess up again. I like how they just jump when he talks. They're like, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Do you have another cutting trap for us? Would I do that? Would I do that? I just want to introduce you to my friend. The Red Baron, say hello. Well, or I, actually, maybe he's not the Red Baron. Maybe he's here to deliver a pizza. I hope. Ah, uh, nope. Wait, that guy looks familiar. Well, other than looking like Jaha, he looks... I don't know, there's something about... Guru! He's waiting for you just outside the Gellum Gate. You'll have to defeat him if you want to advance. See his red armor? It's smeared with blood. He has killed many people. Hmm. Now it's your turn. This will be your doing! Uh oh. Gellum is just over there, but... We have to advance. Bowie, are you ready? Alright, fight against the Red Baron. Snoopy had the Red Baron dead in his sights. And then something, something. I don't remember the whole song. Um, Alright, let's start off with uh, boosting like we always do. Um, yeah, no, that'll work. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, off screen, I used all. Uh, basically, at this point, I used every single um, item that I could use that would raise stats and everything like that. Um, I gave all my power waters to my hero because uh, his his attack growth never gets as crazy as some of the other characters. It's still pretty good, but never gets as crazy powerful. So I decided since he's the hero and we're gonna need him for some stuff later on, he needs all the power he can get. So we gave him all that. Uh, I gave the rest of my defense waters to like. Sarah and like Kazen just to kind of raise their defense slightly. Nothing too crazy. Uh, mainly Kazen because Sarah's defense is actually pretty decent. And if I would made her a Master Monk it would have even been a lot better. So Kazen really needed it the most. Um, I gave all my cheerful breads to Kiwi which you saw me use one a while back. But I used the other one for him to give him 41. Uh, the only items I still have in my group are the, are the Brave Apples. And what those do is those instantly give you a level. So I might save that just for, like, if there's a character that's particularly behind, I might just give them it so they they raise their levels. Um, after that, I've used everything I can, so I don't have to worry about all the hidden stuff now. So anyway, before we move any further, let's look at our the, oops, let's look at the map. All right, we've got one, two, th one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, most people consider this, uh, other than the Kraken fight, most people consider this one of the toughest fights in the game is the Red Baron fight. So we'll find out and see if that's true. We've got a Miss Demon way in the corner there. Uh, oh, Executioner just right in the middle of the field now. Uh, ooh, we got a, a new Cerberus. Uh, Hellhound. Attack is in the question mark box, which that's going to happen quite regularly now from here on in. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so we've got ooh, we got a new cre another new creature, a Minotaur from classic Greek mythology. Uh, not quite 98, but pretty nasty. I don't, I don't think he does any extra tricks as far as I'm aware. I think he just has pure attack. Unlike the Hellhound, that has that random ability to belch fire. Um, oh, and they also Hellhounds also have a resistance to fire, so they get like half less damage from fire. Um, also, if I had brought the Golem in my group, Clyde uh, is what his name is. He. Uh, he actually has a, a resistance to magic, so any magic cast of him actually, I don't think it's half damage, but it's like a little bit less if, if magic is cast on Clyde. So that wouldn't be a bad reason to put him in your group. Uh, too bad his defense isn't high, uh, that high, though. Uh, we got an evil bishop that has aura and blast. The blast three isn't so bad, but the aura hurts for the you know restoring of damage and all that other stuff. Um, and is that it? And the boss himself, and obviously if we beat the red baron. Uh, whether it be his pizza or his sword, will uh, will win. So his HP, yep, his HP is in the question mark blocks, and his attack is also in question mark. And he has a dark sword, huh? Hmm. And we're looking for a holy sword too. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, his model looks pretty familiar. It looks like Jaha's like Baron uh, thing, huh? 
Interesting. Anyway, uh, let's uh, continue on. Oh yeah, I also used my running pimentos finally. I gave the running pimentos to Guess uh, Gerhalt, which gives a plus two to movement, and I gave it to Karna so she can actually get a lot further. God, look at her stats. Question mark at almost everything now. Soon in a few levels, her defense will be question mark. She's a host! <laughs> and that's just because she can cast a boost and get like almost 50 experience every time she does it. It's insane. Uh, but I gave it to those two because those uh, two had five movement out of everyone else who had like maybe like six or seven depending on the build. Uh, and Gerhold kind of needs to get to places pretty quick and so does Karna. The only other person that has the worst movement is a Sarah at five. But I mean she probably could have used it too but I thought having... Gerholt and, uh, and Karna being able to have that much movement was a bit more helpful. So, at least I feel like it. I mean, you could use them on whoever. So, oh, is his is his uh, HP like a really far? Let's see. Oh, well, I don't know if you can. Oh, there we go. Square just highlights his. Oh, so he's like middle of the road. So he's easily got maybe like 150 HP or something like that. That's crazy. All right. And, and Kazen has uh, the running ring on, so that's why his uh, movement's at 2. If he didn't have it, he'd be at 5 as well. But uh, Actually, might as well keep Peter and tear ter terrain that he can ignore. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I forgot why. I mean, other than the Baron himself, I'm trying to remember why this fight is particularly heinous. Um, I think there's something like down the line that happens. I don't remember every fight in the game, and I don't usually go... Um, I usually don't do fight like games like these. I usually don't go ahead of head of the game to prepare for the fight. I'm usually just kind of like, oh, well, let's see what happens. That way, it keeps my uh, it keeps my uh, commentary more real, I guess, or something. I don't know. Authentic? Maybe authentic is the word I wanted to use. I'm not saying it's per the red bear is ready for ready for attacking. He's just moving back and forth. Although it doesn't look like he thinks very much because he's just kind of going, Ugh. So he must be more of a just a... He's more a monster now than man. Oh, machine. Oh, I should have just said machine, but I... Yeah, that, that wouldn't have made sense. Ouch. Good thing he had a uh, boost on. Yeah, Chester's definitely not up there in the defensive category. And luckily we have a... I can heal from him if I... That wish wasn't too bad. I mean, even with the defense on, that should have done more, I think, for being a kind of a head enemy from a previous fight. Um, I'm probably going to have to either have Chester run away or just or use a heal drop on him. Probably use a heal drop. Then again, everyone's kind of moved out pretty far. We might be able to help. Uh, uh, yeah, not, not far enough, Sarah. Actually, Sarah's got some... Oh, I guess that's with the boost, but her agility is pretty... No one's going to be her agility at 99 oh, with the boost, anyway. All right. Ooh, good, uh, good spot for that. That'll give him some experience. Line up all in a row. Take that. Raining fire from above. Too bad it's not an actual bazooka. That would have been awesome. There we go. All right. I wish he'd get two. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally got Blaze 4. Now he's going to be a house. Now he's going to be a host. That should finish him off or get close. Peter's getting, uh, Peter's getting even more powerful. Ah, ah. Alright, that should almost fi finish him, if not do a decent amount of damage. Wait till we get, uh, wait till we get his next weapon, though. That's gonna even make, uh, make, uh, the hero even more powerful. Surprise, surprise, hero's gonna get an ultimate weapon, um, sometime soon. Um, do I want him to... I mean, he's already gained, like, a ton of experience. Well, let's see if, uh... Let's see if the, the kill and the executioner will give him anything more than a couple of points. Nah, I didn't think so. I that's why I didn't want to level up too much because then I didn't want to worry about like running, uh, not giving experience to my dude. You know. Oh well. I'll try to use uh, Gessup and, uh, and Kiwi for or Ger sorry Gessup, Gerholt and Kiwi for. Uh, for like weakening people and then leave the damage to uh, other. What's Gerhold's defense at? If we take away like the 20 from the spell, so like. Because he got like 20 or something like that, so 66 or something like that. Anyway. 
time. I need to, yeah, I need to do something to block Chester off of being a, uh, hounded. This might end up being another five just because of how long, the, uh, how big the map is. Yeah, I should be able to handle a an attack from now. Youch! That's smart. All right, finally get him out of the forest. <laughs> Need more flyers, you know, or something like that. I wonder why they haven't moved back and forth. Is it just to show how antsy it is? Because he could technically not move at all, you know. And but they want him to have him do something. Oh, did you see how he almost wanted to move past our guys to get to Chester, but he kind of moved back or something like that? At least it looked like he moved to a spot, then moved back and go, "Oh, I can't hit Chester. I'll just hit the hero or something like that." At least that's what it seemed like, anyway. Yep, I was about to say Boost should be running out this turn. Um, yeah, Blaze is not going to really be effective against a Hellhound, so let's show off... Well, actually, we've seen the power of Blaze for, but let's show it again for our, on our side this time. Yes! 40! Ha 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 ha! Now, now Kaza can actually do damage. Um... But yeah, if, if we had a... If we also had Tyrion at uh, here as well... Uh, he can, um, uh, he can all, he can get a, I think his spell list indicates he can get, like, Blaze 4 and, uh, Freeze 4 as well. Um, so he would easily have been, that's why he's another really good choice to pick as a Creed, uh, Creed, uh, recruitment. Because of, uh, how, uh, um, now we'll just finish him up. That's why he and, um, oh, come on! Peter's got ridiculous agility. That has to uh, be for something. All right, fine. I'll have the hero finish him off. Uh, yeah, just missing out on all the experience, aren't you, Jaha? Or no, I'll have a slave finish him off. Ooh yeah. Shink. And yeah, he doesn't know. Maybe I'll just get him get some damage there. Yeah, it's not giving him much experience, but um, do we want Chester? Well, Chester won't be able to finish him off, but oh yeah, I gave Chester like the power ring because he was like one of the weakest characters. So I was like, he needs something to give him a little bit of an oomph. Uh, he'll probably finish him off with his attack, current attack range at, at over question mark at this point. So we'll just leave him there. Because at his level, I want to give uh, the experience to some other characters. I gotta get the gotta get my archers out there on the field. They're taking forever. I don't think that'll kill him. That might do some damage. Might have Kazen finish him off then if if he survives being attacked. Because I know the Hellhound will most likely attack Kazen. This area seems to be not be very friendly to my um, like my archers as well as certain melee characters. Luckily, some of the best characters in the game can fly, so... Oh, you're attacking Slade. Well, Slade doesn't have this high defense, unfortunately. That's probably one of the few flaws with Slade, because he has high agility, he gets good attack, can equip weapons and all this, and cast magic if he needs to do bulk damage, but, uh, but yeah, he never gets the same uh, defensive... Uh, nice little defensive hike as, uh, as some of the other um, characters in the group. Oh well. Can't have all of them being awesome. That would be kind of a ruin the point of of having all these characters. You know? um, I have Peter go towards the mist even there. Um... You... Who else needs to be healed? I healed you. you. Actually, I could just press square. I don't know why I keep pressing... Um, um. Oh, man. Ah! I don't want to cast a heal 10 on, on just 10 HP. Yeah, I keep forgetting you can press square for like a quick synopsis instead of just a... Um, Instead of like clicking into their menu. Yeah, I'll still give her some experience, even if not a lot. Yeah, so I'll give you ten, so. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Albert. Um, okay. 
Wait, what's, where's the next uh, enemy kind of come in? Halfway. Although, you know, it's a big open field. I hope nothing happens while I'm out here. Eh, who knows? Maybe something won't happen. But I doubt it. Alright, let's uh, just... Uh, I think even a Blaze 2 should finish you off. Yeah, I was about to... Or I could smack you, but... Eh, I'd rather guarantee it, because I've had too many chances of people dodging stuff. At least magic's a guarantee, you know. There we go. Yeah, I gotta I got get your levels up so I can make make more use of you. you know. Time to start uh, stacking people again. Might, uh, might start moving people into specific sections so we can get Karna in to cast a boost or something like that, you know. If we can get everyone together. There we go. Yes, attack Peter do very little damage. Ha, you used to be a threat. Not anymore. Maybe back in the day. Alright, get some attack on you. At least uh, at least Chester isn't really super behind on levels. At least he's somewhat in the in the field, you know. It would suck if he uh, was a little bit behind, because then maybe I would consider like bringing in like Luke or, or Screech or something like that. I thought about leaving Luke in the team, but uh, I don't know his uh, his stat growth and everything like that just wasn't. I, I just wasn't feeling it. And I don't like the previous game where I'd put all the unique soldiers in the group because of the way I've been leveling up and all this other stuff. I, I just didn't feel it was necessary to bring in the. Uh, um, uh, bring in the unique units, because their stats just aren't worth it. Even as cool as they look, you know, having a golem and a robot, it's just I can't really forego all that delicious uh, uh, s uh, stats from my other characters that I leveled up to 30 or 40, depending on the character. I wonder if that's why, like, Peter's just such a... Uh, ooh, nice, 3 HP. Uh, yeah, I don't think her stats... I don't think Karna's stats growth are going to get any crazier at this point, just because of the... Uh, um, just because she's hit level 30 is about that time where certain stat growth doesn't doesn't uh, grow as 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 huge. So I mean, you can still get to level 99, but as, at some point you uh, it does start kind of slowing down a bit. All right, yeah, just keep moving everyone forward. I'm not gonna do more than that. I'll stay here just because so one of the healers can get in at some point. Uh, ah, bam. Just not enough movement. Yep. Wizards. Wizards making a run for it. Or gonna try to, anyway. At least now I'm trying to... Yeah, maybe I should keep all my guys pat, so that way I can finally get my archers and everyone in there. <laughs> I might be using my, uh... My brave apples soon, maybe just to kind of keep them up to up to snuff. You know? Well, when we definitely when we get to like some of the final battles, we'll we'll definitely use the rest of them up. But it'll still we've still got quite a few episodes to go before we get a uh, um, get get to the finale. finale. Um, yeah, I don't know why I haven't really considered like putting Karna like up in front. You know, she could easily tank the rest of the damage. You know. Yeah, we'll see there. Just putting all my uh, high defense dudes in the line. Oh, finally got her in, so we can heal uh, heal slave. Not that we needed to, but get all that precious experience. You know. I'm kind of just waiting for the enemies to kind of come at us. You could handle that, the wizard. Uh, and he takes less damage from fire if the thing... Yeah, might as well get rid of the wizard if I can. Ha ha. Goodbye, didn't even get to cast your spells. Er, yeah, we still got another wizard to deal with, but... Hmm. I'll leave him in front, though. But only the Minotaur hit him, and I know the Minotaur can't straight up kill him. He'll do some damage for sure. But he shouldn't be able to straight up kill uh, Elric. Although, then he'll hit hit Elric and he'll die. And I'll be like, ah, dang it. 
Oh, what the? <sighs> mm. Yeah, you need to attack some or belch his fire. It doesn't. Ha ha. That would have done more, but like I said, he's he's he takes half damage from a uh, from fire. So one of the cool things about, and I think fire is the most common ability in the game. So he basically has resistance to one of the most common spell slash. Uh, um, um, uh oh, that might hurt. That wasn't too bad, although the smack from the Minotaur might finish May off. We'll see what happens. Uh oh. Oh, pfft. that's fine. Ha uh ha. -huh. You chose this. You chose the wrong kaiju to attack. Nah, I should have known he was gonna heal. Well, not him casting blast at least. Which, you know, funny enough, uh, Karna actually got Blast level 4 at some point, so technically... I uh, don't think she should die. She should die. Oh, we got a heavy... Come on! You dodge and you crit? Oh. Man. Ugh. Alright, whatever. Um. Man, that really grinds my gears. Um, okay. I guess I could have boosted, but... Um... Yeah, we'll uh, actually do. I'll have him uh, finish this guy off. Oh no, that won't kill him, but it'll do a ton of damage. Not as much as some people's attacks, but I'll try to get maybe. Don't Slade. I might have Slade cast magic just to. Actually, how many people. How many more dudes do we actually have left? One, two, three, four, five. So he could cast one of his spells because there's a group over there. So. I was just gonna cast Raijin on on these on these dorks. Just get a little extra damage in there. Ooh, Raijin level two. Nice. That's Bolt two. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Uh, Kill things with my level 20 dudes if I can help it. So, right, we'll have you do some damage. Chester will finish it off, hopefully. Maybe uh, Peter probably take out the bishop so he doesn't keep healing. Or at least do a decent amount of damage if not kill him. <sighs> Why? My stats are so good, you shouldn't be able to dodge. No, that's not true. You are supposed to die! <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll have her finish off the Minotaur. You killed May. May need the levels. Well, you need the levels too, so. Alright, um, yeah, we'll have, we'll have you hit and then have Elric finish him off. And then. Um. I have to finish him off because you already took your turn. Chester's going after them. Yeah, I'll finish him. Because May got killed, I'll finish him off. He still gets some experience from him if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh, right, then we're gonna. Whoops. I'm gonna finish you off, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, only one death. For a battle that's supposed to be like one of the hardest in the game, I've only had one guy died. Pretty good pretty good if I do say so myself. I think it's just difficult be just because of the uh, overall like where stats are should be, if you're a normal level, what all the enemies can do, Red Baron is tough, you know, but because of and yeah, if I hadn't I did do a little extra grinding, I'll admit. I but it's not that that would have, wouldn't have happened in the game normally, you know? Because even when I first played as a kid, I still did a minor amount of grinding just to kind of uh, keep my characters even if, if some of them got a little behind, you know? And uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that. That'll get a few dudes going. Kick! Kick into the air! Boost our allies! Make them even more powerful. Oh, and, uh, 
shouldn't waste all my all my blazes, but at some point, uh, I'll save the rest for maybe like either Red Baron or someone like that. I wish you'd get like MP level two though. Maybe if he was maybe if he was made a sorcerer, maybe that would have happened. Um, he would have been a uh, um, he would have uh, got a uh, two MP rec uh, level up instead. Because that's usually what I want out of my wizards is the. Uh, um, See, I think Chester will go before the bishop will. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that alone. And Slade's got a decent enough levels anyway. And Peter could always use the levels, but he'll get his levels easily. That will not be a that will not be a challenge. Just because of the um, yeah. Just because of how much power he has and all that other stuff, like Time to start dragging out the newbies. We could move. Ah, uh, no. Nah, we'll, uh, I'll, maybe I'll have Karna heal him if Sarah healed others or something like that. Yeah, I was thinking he might dodge again. I don't know. I just had, because of how often it's happened, I was just like, you're going to dodge, aren't you? Alright. Move everyone back. Yeah, Jawhar's getting a little behind in the levels. He'll. Uh, You'll need to start taking out some dudes, because everyone's like at 17, 18 type of thing. Yep, charging in. Gareholt, who used to be somewhat, uh, who had decent power, but somewhat passable, but with the power of levels compels him. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just war at me. Just to hit the guys that were, had some damage on them. Keep them all nice and nice and toasty. Toasty heels. Toasty heels. Oh, I, ah, not enough movement, man. Should have moved closer that way. Oh, I didn't know Chester's. Oh, that's right, I boosted him. That's right. That's why he went faster. Well, he's not getting much experience from that anymore, so. Uh, these guys are probably now not not giving me what I want from these guys. Yeah, they're not giving me hardly anything, so I probably should just finish them off. Because all my other characters aren't even close enough to really make it worth it. So, um, yeah, no one's gonna get there in time. I'd, I'd rather take care of the bow guy now. <laughs> ah, belching flames. Although, you know, like I said before in the previous episode, how at some point I'll actually not want belching flames to happen at a point. Because because my attack will be better than the defense bypassing, like, alternate attack. Isn't that kind of sad? What do you think about that? You, how at times the rare attack that almost never happens that's supposed to be better, you don't want. So you're like, I don't want this to happen. No! No! Yeah, we're not too far off from the finish of this. Heal you. Even though I should be giving all that experience to Sarah, but Karna just has better stats overall. That's probably why some ultimate uh, ultimate um, uh, team guides suggest uh, not having Sarah in the group anymore after a point. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll whack on you. You better not dodge. Okay. For some reason I was thinking he was gonna dodge or something like that. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna have nightmares about dodging, aren't I? Oh yeah, I don't want to cast a. Oh wait, no. If I move in the woods, it's gonna restrict his movement. Um, well, we're at that point anyway. Um, but I don't want to use a fire on him. So. Um, actually, that might. He might be strong enough now that might uh, give me experience at this point. Yeah, a little bit. Oh yeah, I gotta watch out for the red baron. I think he might have enough movement. All right, hellhound. Yeah, I think after this fight, we should be able to get a better sword for... Well, no, no, not after this fight. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. Forget it. It'll be a bit before we get that. No, I was thinking um, Slade will get a better weapon after... Mm, do I want to go and finish him off now? Because everyone else around him is pretty much like... No damage central for the most part. Oh, yeah, I could do Raijin level 2. Do I have any better spots to do that, though? Probably not. 
No, only that. Well, how many dudes are left? Do you be worth it to hold on to? No, not really. Okay, I'll use even though he'll heal it, I'll still show off Raijin too. Ah, uh, that didn't do a ton of damage. It still did some. Oh. Well, we'll see him in action. Dark Blade? What? It could use Diesel! No! Well, it didn't work, but still. It, who was the character from uh, Shiny Force 1 that could use the Sword of Darkness that did the same thing? Yeah, that's that's one of the dickest. Game? That's one of the dickest things about this fight is he can use Diesel whenever he wants. Because he can. He can choose to like have his sword do it whatever and not take any consequences while we have to uh, uh, we have to take the consequences of our actions. No, we have to uh, um. All right. And he also gets two turns per thing. Okay, whew. <laughs> heavy attack only did eight damage. Two heavy attacks? What type of a, what type of crit range do you got, dude? But uh, yeah, he decided not to use the sword multiple times, which he could have. Although Diesel does have pretty, pretty poor percentages, so. Oh man, come on! Well, I would have been dead if he had dodged my Chester's spear or whatever. Oh good, you're gonna heal yourself instead of the the leader. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, oh yeah, I'll heal uh, a heal Chester. Work. Heal! That Chester's almost at 100 MP, or er, HP. One of the better reasons to keep him on the team. Ah, um. Yeah, I'll try to get closer to Red Baron. Um, you. I want to deal with that wizard. You're gonna be, you're gonna be paid. Harry Potter right here to save you now, wizard. Oh, nice. Yeah, Geralt's gonna mainly get twos in a lot of his. Please attack and don't use your swords. Thank you. Actually, if there was anyone that could probably needed to be the brunt of these attacks, would need to be like Peter or Kiwi. Uh, but I don't want to finish off that wizard. So I know that's probably leaving some of my other characters to the to the dangers of the Red Baron, but especially like people like Slade or whatnot. But and I'm not close enough to use Blast in my nuts. Better uh, see if we can hit him this time. There we go. All right, Slade. Gonna have you hit the bishop here. Because Slade doesn't have the defense really to handle the. Uh, actually, well, actually, the hero has a decent defense, but what's uh, what's uh, yours? Ninety-five. And you're over that, so you should be able to handle the Red Baron easily. What's my defense, though? 78? Yeah. Not as good, but... Um, so I don't want him to get like, right up in there, because you never know. Um, yeah, I better get rid of the healer. Despite, uh, despite obviously, needing to fight the Red Baron, but... Alright. And then... I think on next uh, Karna's turn, I'm gonna. Uh oh. Please don't kill Peter. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that that D Diesel has a has a pretty poor percentage, but still, it it, it definitely freaks me out every time because you never know. You never know if you'll get unlucky and uh, actually, and it'll actually work. You know? Yeah, I'll need this against the Red Baron. I was trying to think of the lyrics of the song like while while I was playing, but I couldn't really. Um, think of them on the way. But 31. Her levels just go up my mad. Now her agility, I think, is at, is it at question mark? Yeah. Oh no, her defense is always a question mark. Uh, this is this is risky to put Karn uh, K's in here, but uh, eh. Even if he dies, he'll have done some damage to a uh, um, 36. Yeah, good thing he doesn't have any resistance to to that. So. And my heaviest, oh, some of my heaviest hitters are here. So basically, Red Baron's pretty much done for. Look at that. I mean, I'm just gonna wreck this guy. I'm gonna wreck it. I mean, his uh, evil counterpart or uh, his evil portrait looks kind of cool, kind of like uh, Elliot from the previous game. Yeah. Oh, one damage. 
Who wants who wants the who wants the uh, who wants the honors? I would say the hero, but there's really no there's really no reason to have the hero do it. So now let's have Chester. Why not? Yay! I'm being helpful. And he's defeated. Yeah, for being supposedly one of the hardest uh, bo uh, fights in the game. I mean, it is. I'm just a little over leveled. I mean, I did get everyone to level 30 before I. I uh, um, hey, Sarastral, he's crying. Why would he be crying? Oh, was he like one of those crazy serial killers, or is he one of those whiners that's just like, I didn't get what I want. Well, why is the man crying? What uh, what dastardly deeds has this man done? And where is Gessup? Find out next time in the next episode of Shining Force 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.